Amortization tables can be useful to give us more information over a period of time on a loan or mortgage, how much principal and interest we've paid, and what our balance might be at a point in time. In order to use the amortization tables in your calculator, you first have to solve for your variables, typically payment. So let's start with another question. We're looking at a variable rate mortgage. $300,000 is the actual mortgage. So I've simplified the question so we can get to the amortization tables quicker. So where do we start? We always write out our variables. So it's a mortgage. We don't hear otherwise, so 300 months. My interest rate, it's variable rate. Monthly compounded means I do not have to convert. My IY is just 3 over 12. Present value, 300000 Again, I don't have to subtract a down payment. It states that's the amount of the actual mortgage. Future value, how much am I going to owe? Zero. So I'm going to solve for payment, $1,422.63. If you don't get that number, pause the video, go back, figure out what you did wrong, because um, you need to have that correct in your calculator before you're able to properly use the amortization tables. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to uh, work on that a little bit. Once you got that number, we need to use the amortization function. A-M-O-R-T. And it is over the present value key, meaning we need second function. So we go second function, Amort. First thing we're going to see is P1, and if we scroll down, we're going to see P2. This is the time period. Let's say I'm interested in the first five years. The first five years begins with the payment number one. It's already in there. Carry on. So I use the down arrow to go to P2. When does year five end? It would end on the 60th payment. Don't forget to hit enter. So 60 and enter. If I scroll down again, there might be a slight pause. It'll tell me the balance. So if I look at my balance, after five years, my balance is 256000 $516.43. Scroll down one more time. It'll give me principal. If I look at my principal, I have paid off $43,483.57. If you add these two together, you will get my original principal. My original principal minus how much I paid off is my current balance. Make sense? And then interest. How much interest have I paid? I have paid $41,874.46. If I add these two together, and if I take my payment and multiply it by 60, that is the sum of these two. My total payment has either gone to principal or interest. So these two add up to my present value. 60 times this is this much. So over my first five years, roughly half of my payment has gone to principal, roughly half to interest. Now, you may look at this and think, man, I'm paying a lot of interest. This is actually really good because my rate is only 3% a year. When rates have been higher, you might find that 90% of your payment has gone to interest. So you literally might find that out of $85,000 that you've paid, you've paid less than $10,000 in principal when your interest rate is higher. So having the low interest rates that we do right now really does help in terms of paying off a mortgage.